Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island video. So today we're going to be turning in more golden apples. Today I have gathered 5,000, so um, I bought some more apples and we're going to be turning them in because you know what I really want to get, you guys? I really want to get a golden apple Frisian with horns because those exist and they're really cool and I really want to get one. So we're going to hope that we're able to get that. Oh wait, right off the bat, we got a fjord! Guys, this is actually great because I did not get a fjord yet. Adding on to our golden apple breed collection. This is awesome. Got a little fjordy and he's so cute. Okay, back to our apple turning in. Yeah, so golden apple Frisians with horns exist. Ghost horse Frisians. Oh, we got an illusion. Perfect. I like can't even speak because I keep getting horses, which is quite splendid. Um as i was saying ghost horses or ghost frisians with horns also exist and those are both really rare so i really want to get one because you know golden apples you don't really have to do much grinding like if you have tokens you can just buy apples which is nice um so i like that and then you also get golden apples which are helpful for bonding up your horses and stuff and we've already gotten like two horses and i haven't even turned in that many and I, we got like two mid-tiers. We got a Fjord and an Andalusian, which is nice. Oh, and then we just got a Quarter Horse, which is a lower tier, but I mean, it's at least a horse. I have way too many Golden Apple Horses and way too many Ghost Horses. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them, you guys. Like, I feel like one person really does not need that many, you know? I'm just like, should I like sell them and then like use those tokens that I get from selling them to buy more apples to repeat the cycle? I think, honestly, that's what some people are doing, because, yeah. Um, I have a lot of golden apples. I have, like, 600. Let's see if we can make it to 1,000. I don't know if we're going to get that high, but we might. I think we could, actually. What's 5,000 divided by 20? Oh, we got a pink horse. It's 250. Okay, so I don't think we would get enough. We would get close, though. Um, cause we're also getting horses and stuff as well. So that's the max amount of apples, but we already got a few horses and let's hope that we get a few more. Definitely want some higher tiers. We want Arabian, Frisian, Pertron. Like even if we get those, I'll be happy, but we're aiming for one with horns. That's what we're aiming for. That is the point of this right now. Like if the horns didn't exist, I probably wouldn't be turning in more apples because it's very expensive, um, to buy this many apples. Because uh, it's 8 tokens per apple. And I have 5,000 apples. So if you want to do the math, you can. And also the Halloween and Fall events are ending soon. So I'm like, if I want to do this, I have to do it soon. So, yeah. Oh, you guys! We got a Clydesdale. And this has a uh, overcast fade mane and tail. Lovely, lovely. We got a Clydesdale. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so we got one of the higher tiers. Happy about that. Okay, back to our apple turning in. The events are ending, like, so soon. Like, I mean, it has been a while that they've been out, but I feel like I just want more time. Because, like, the events in Wild Horse Islands are so much fun to do. I just love playing them and stuff. Oh, and we if we can get, like, a mismatch horse, that would be fantastic as well. I want to get one of those. Because the mismatches are pretty valuable as well, like, where there's, um... The mane one color and the tail another color. Like, that's just cool and they're valuable. So, yeah. I'm not that good with values. Um, so, I don't really know how much they're worth, but I just know that they're worth more than regular ones. So, we're going to hope that we get that. And then, Frisian with horns. Just please give me a Frisian with horns. I've turned in so many apples. And we're going to keep turning on in more... I kind of wish that you could get accessories from this as well, like, apple-related accessories. Like, they could have put, like, the apple face pins as, like, a reward for turning in apples, you know? You could, like, get golden apples and then apple face pins sprinkled in there, or, like, maybe, like, I don't know, like, apple, apple, like, an apple aura. Oh, we got a paint horse! That would just make it a little more interesting, because I feel like it's kind of bland, um, like, just getting golden apples or golden horse. Um, so I feel like it would just be cooler if we got something other than golden apples and the horses, but I mean, I guess you can just straight up buy apples, so that's kind of like just buying the fall stuff for tokens, so, which honestly, it's pretty nice. 
because then I could like prepare for events beforehand you know like if you could use your tokens because then I could just like save up tokens before an event oh yay you guys we got a thoroughbred I don't think I've gotten one of these on the golden apple horses yet that's awesome you guys this one's a grumpy horsey though it's grumpy um what was I saying I forget what I was saying the corn maze though actually isn't too hard to get to the center you just kind of like hang left did I say that before I think I might have been in another video Oh, yeah, I was talking about how it'd be nice if you could, like, use tokens. Oh, we got an Andalusian. Yes, you guys, we got another Andalusian. The Andalusians are so pretty. Like, I just love their mane. I want to get some more interesting mane colors. Like, the Autumn Fade, I think is what it is. It's, like, uh, golden to, like, this orange. I want to get that on another one of these horses because I got it on one, and it's really pretty, and I want to get on another one because that would be really nice. Um, apple check. Let's see how many we've turned in. Oh, we only have 1,580 left. And we haven't gotten one with horns or a mismatch. It's okay, you guys. It's okay. We're gonna live. Um, I mean, that's still a solid amount left. Oh, we got a paint horse. We got the dark autumn fade mane and tail here. Nice. I wonder how much these are going to be worth after the event leaves, because I know people have a lot of them, so I don't really know how to gauge how rare they're get they're going to get. Same thing with the ghosts. Like, this year, people have gone absolutely insane with getting ghost horses, including myself. I have, like, almost 100 ghost horses um, just from, like, grinding around in my private server, because um, they spawn pretty quickly there. Like, you can just rejoin and check if there's a ghost horse. It's like the red lasso method, which I'm sure you guys have heard about. Um, but I've gone, like, wild with the ghost horse hunting. So, I'm really not sure how the values are going to go. Since everyone just has an absolutely massive, like, amount of the golden apple horses, the ghost horses. So, I don't really know how to gauge what their value is going to be. So, that's going to be interesting to see. Not that I'm good with values anyways. Honestly, I couldn't even tell you what some of the stuff are worth last year. But I do know that I traded a ghost Pertron, I think it was. I think I traded a Pertron. I don't know what other horse it would be for a Tidal Wave Frisian. So, and that is my one and only Tidal Wave Frisian. So, I think that was a win because the ghost horses came back. So, yeah. I've been trying to collect some of the higher tier event horses lately um like the older ones like the main one i'm looking for right now would be the spring arabian um but i haven't found a good trade for that yet like all the ones i've done um they just have not worked out so that's that's been lovely but we're gonna keep trying because i really really want to get a spring arabian because they're just so lovely you know they're just so lovely and springy and they're arabians and i love arabians we got an Appaloosa with pumpkin spice fade mane and tail. That's so cute. Adorable. Adorable. The pumpkin spice is so cute. I also need, like, the Easter thoroughbred and, like, all of the first Valentine's Day horses. But I don't know if I'm ever going to get those because they're just quite valuable right now. Um, and, I mean, they've, like, always been quite valuable. So I don't know if we're going to have any luck with that. But it's fine. It's fine, you guys. Maybe someday. Ooh, look at that. We got a fjord. So cute and adorable. We got another one. Hello, little buddy. Cute. We haven't gotten one with the autumn fade yet. How much do we have left? We only have 120 left. Okay, we get six. One, two, three. Oh, yes! Guys, we got a thoroughbred. The last six, we managed to get another thoroughbred. This one has the pumpkin fade mane and tail. Which looks interesting on the golden horses. Okay, we have three left. One, two, three, and that's it. Let's just check. Yep, we don't have enough apples left. Okay, so we did not get a Frisian with horns, or a Frisian for that matter. But we got some other random um, golden apple horses. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in total. So like a whole row. That's nice. Um... We got a Clydesdale. That's a success. We got some fjords. We got some thoroughbreds. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.